about surface forces. So for example, if I have a, a triangular element, One, two, three. And this is A, this is L. And I have here a distributed load or attraction force applied to the surface described here by the edge that extends between node one and node three. And this traction force or surface force is represented by this lowercase p, and uh, this will be given as force per length squared. So the body force was uh, force per L cubed. This is force per length squared. Again, uh, we can uh, evaluate the equivalent nodal forces. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna call it F sub S for the surface force of traction equal to the double integer over the surface of the shape functions evaluated at the surface. That's why I call it NS transpose multiplied by the traction force on that surface TS, DS, where TS may be represented by the X component and the Y components. We're working in plane. For this particular example, I have PX equal to P and PY equal to zero. So we're gonna use this to, if, if we're using it here to simplify it. Now uh, NS transpose would be equal to N one zero zero N one N two zero zero N two and N three zero zero N three. All of these shape functions, as you recall, are functions of X and Y. So when I say N S, all of them are evaluated. at the ordinates of that surface. So if I look at that surface, one, three, X is equal to A and Y remains valuable. So evaluated at X equal A and Y. So anytime you see the subscript S, this indicates that the function is evaluated along the surface where the traction force TS is applied. Okay. So FS is equal to now uh, I'm integrating over the surface, so I can go from zero to T. And from zero to L. So my surface here has the area going from zero to L and over the uh, thickness of it. So this would be from uh, zero to T, D, Z, and DY. And then I have my uh, shape function matrix transposed. So I have N1, zero, zero, N1, zero, I'm sorry, N2. So zero to L, the second yeah. integral, right? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, zero, zero, and two, and three, zero, and zero, and three. Do you have 
all of these are evaluated at x equal a and y equal y. Multiply by p and zero. So this is like saying then fs is equal to t going from zero to t and t is a constant. times the integral from zero to L of N one P zero, N two P zero, N three P and zero. D Y. Excuse me? Yes. Thank you. Now, uh, N1 is equal to 1 over 2A multiplied by alpha I times beta i times x plus gamma i times y, where alpha i is equal to x j y m minus y j times m. Now for I equals one, J equal two and M equal three. Alpha one then is equal to X two, Y three minus Y two, X three. If I evaluate uh, alpha one, looking at this uh, triangular element, if you look at X two is a zero. And if I look at X three is a zero. Therefore, alpha one is equal to a zero. Similarly, B1, beta one is also equal to a zero, but gamma is equal to A. So I can write N1 as equal to the two A, and then on the top, I'm gonna have A times Y. We can also show similarly that N2 is equal to L times A minus Y divided by 2A and N3 is equal to L times X minus A times Y divided by 2A. If I come back to FS,
And uh, if uh, I evaluate this uh, shape function for uh, x equals to a and uh, y equals to y, and integrate with respect to y, so evaluate. at x equal a and y equal y and integrate with respect to y. We get this fs equals to t divided by two times a l over two multiply by A times L squared over two times P, zero, zero, and zero. And then I have here L squared minus L squared over two Sorry. times P. These are equal to P L T over two, zero, 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 P L T over two and the zero. Which means for a load like this can be replaced with concentrated nodal loads on the nodes associated with the surface the loaded edge of the surface that is statically equivalent to the applied load. And I'm gonna explain what that means. So if we are looking at the applied load, the applied load is applied over a lens L and a thickness T. So if I wanna find the total load, it is P L times T. That's the total load. And because it's uniformly distributed, half of it is going to node three and half of it is going to node one. <laughs> 